So this right here is my this right here is Wednesday. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's Wednesday today, so that kind of confused me. This here is Wednesday from the Hidden Netflix show Wednesday. But have you ever wondered how my... How Wednesday turned into such a beautiful lady? And also why Jenna Ortega won't reply to my DMs? I can probably give you the answer to that first question. Because today, we're gonna be reacting to the actual origin story of Wednesday by Game Tunes. Creepy... Uh huh. Kooky. Ooh. Mysterious. Yep. Spooky. And beautiful. These Don't forget beautiful. These are used to describe the infamous Adams family. And even though their house looked like a museum, that looked like a graveyard, my boy. It did not look like a museum. Did you not see all the flipping grave signs? Pretty sure it was an actual graveyard. It didn't just look like one. Ooh. Content, dare I even say, happy. What happened? All that changed one day when Morticia had a vision. Get in Ooh. close, Wednesday, my little death trap. <laughs> Why does Wednesday dad, Wednesday's dad sound like that? He sounds like he should be on a list somewhere. He sounds like he should be going by every single neighbor and tell them that he's on that specific list. And I really hope nobody knows what kind of list I'm talking about right now. So what's happening here? What's wrong, mi querida mia? You look like you've seen a ghost. How exciting. No, my dear. I've just had a wonderful vision. <laughs> so <laughs> Wednesday's dad sounds like he should be on a list. Wednesday's mom sounds like she should be. <laughs> and so the two decided that it was time to have a child together. Wait, what? Not just any child. They were going to have the most sinister, diabolical child imaginable. Wait, so all that stuff with the picture being taken and stuff, that was literally a vision that the mom had? So they don't have any children right now. So <laughs> in the Adams Family Universe, children get made by snapping your fingers. Look, if I was in the Adams Family Universe right now, I would already have like 20 kids. And that's like 19 more than I already have. An evil little girl. Wait a second, no, maybe I was wrong. Maybe oh, this is how they make children. Bringing a child into this world is no small task. At first, they tried the Frankenstein method. Mm-hmm. I know a method that could work. wasn't nearly advanced enough. Wait a second. So technically, they were making a child, so doesn't that mean that they just made Wednesday, but it failed because he just <gasps> melted into the floor? So, <laughs> is it... The Wednesday that ends up existing, technically like of the, I don't know, fifth version of Wednesday that they tried to create. Jeez, maybe that's why she hates her parents. Next, they visited an ancient pyramid to try and resurrect the mummy. What? They did what? But the bodies were all too old and fragile. Whether it was a deal with Davy Jones, an experiment with toxic ooze, or anything else in between. I'm really scared to find out how they conceived Wednesday. And why didn't they call her Wednesday? <gasps> Maybe because they made her on Wednesday. February 14th? Maybe. Nothing they did seemed to work. What's wrong, my love? I'm starting to wonder if my vision was wrong. Maybe the fates decided we weren't meant to have children. We both know your visions always come true. Don't cry. We just haven't figured out how yet. What are you <laughs> reading? It's a poem. I love this line here. Wednesday's child is full of woe. I haven't told you yet, but that's what the spirit said her name would be. So they got Wednesday's name from a vision and from a book? And the book is called Monday's Child. <laughs> Wednesday. Wait. That gives me an idea. Wait, is Wednesday an actual name? Like, is anyone watching this right now? Are you called Wednesday? If you are called Wednesday, let me know down below in the comment section. If you know anybody who's called Wednesday, also let me know. I want to know if people are actually called Wednesday because I think it's a pretty cool name. So he got an idea from this? What, what idea did it? he get? We perform a seance. Today is Friday the 13th, the time where a connection to the spirits is most powerful. We can summon anything we desire strongly enough. What are you gonna do next? Play with a Ouija board? This is not the way, my man. If you really want a child, just... 
And if that doesn't work, try adoption. But if we summon a little girl magically with a conjuration spell, she's all but guaranteed to be the most vile, devilish daughter in the history of mankind. That's what it's you want, right? Perfect. And finally, the plan was set. Morticia and Gomez conducted the most powerful seance ever performed inside the Adams family home. Oh! They communed with the lost souls of the afterlife, reciting the ancient chant of the dead. Gomez, it worked. You Where is she? Thus, Wednesday Adams was born. As years passed, Morticia and Gomez loved her as much as any parents could. And Morticia's vision had finally become a reality. Oh, when they made the it picture. Not, however, where our story ends. But wait a second. They had such a hard time getting Wednesday. So how exactly did they create Wednesday's little bro? Anybody know the story of that? Or <laughs> are we just not going to get into it? Because even though Wednesday was an intelligent, strong-willed young woman that didn't fear anything, she didn't exactly fit into normie schools. Because she's not For normal. Starters, the cool kids didn't like her at all. Wednesday despised both cheerleading and sports. The bright colors and pageantry of it all disgusted her to no end. I but understand. Neither did the nerds. They couldn't understand Wednesday's penchant for old typewriters and other outdated technologies. Dude, I will not tolerate any typewriter slander. If you've ever written something on a typewriter, you know just how satisfying those clicks and those are. And if you don't know what it's like, I feel bad for you. And even though she was quite a brilliant writer, her attitude towards authority didn't make her too popular with the teaching <laughs> staff either. She always stayed tough on the outside never showing any signs of weakness to the bullies at her school. Does it actually hurt her? Deep down, Wednesday was heartbroken. She Aww. thought she didn't need anyone. I thought she, she didn't care. Her own wolf. She didn't realize that even the toughest kids need a friend sometimes. Wednesday, are you all right, my dear? Who's their friend going to be? Yes, <gasps> mother. Oh, my sweet black rose. What's it gonna the be? matter? Hmm? Is everything going well at school? Other than having to suffer through my annoying classmates and teachers near constant incompetence? Not really. You know, if you're unhappy at normie school, we could always have you attend Nevermore. It's a special academy for outcasts. Wait a second, this is not how we went in the show. Cause I watched that first episode. Is this like an alternate origin story perhaps? You know, your father and I- I'm not you, mother. I will never be you. I don't want to be the captain of multiple clubs or queen of the school dance. I don't want to live your life or be any part of your legacy. Now, if I did that to my mom, <laughs> Ooh. I would get smacked across the face. Not actually, not actually. Mom, if you're watching this for legal reasons, that was a joke. Please don't do that to me for real. Oh, Wednesday. What are we ever going to do with you? But this is literally what the mom wanted. She wanted the most diabolical vile child in existence. To me, the most diabolical vile child in existence would act like that towards her mother. So, hey, be careful what you wish for, eh? From that point on, Wednesday decided to take matters into her own hands. She wasn't going to be bullied anymore. She oh. was going to become the bully. Oh? She was going to use her impressive weapon knowledge and obsession with the macabre to get her revenge on all the other students nice. that tormented her. Good job. No one was safe from her wrath. If she was going to be miserable, then everyone was going to go down with her. Why does she smile like Even that? the staff. It got so bad, in fact, that the principal finally had to take a more drastic option. Wednesday's getting expelled? Surely we can come to some other solution. I'm sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Adams. I don't have a choice. Wednesday is no longer just a nuisance anymore. She's a detriment to the rest of the students and faculty here at And Norris a danger. Y. Please, we urge you to reconsider. We understand that Wednesday can be a bit, well, eccentric. Dangerous? But she's a good kid at heart. Diabolical? Isn't that right, my little storm cloud? I'll enjoy watching your suffering most of all. Get out. Now! Unfortunately, Wednesday's attitude never changed. What happens she was now? She dead set on being the biggest troublemaker possible. School after school, principal after principal, the story stayed the same. Dang! She gave him my hairline! That is actually diabolical. That's the worst thing Wednesday has ever done so far. And I know for a fact she's done a lot of bad things. More torture. 
All right, Wednesday. Took a lot of convincing, not to mention forged disciplinary records to get into this place. So please try to- To what? Be good? Just like the rest of the normies? I don't get the parents. They wanted the most vile, Ooh. diabolical child. And that's exactly what they got. So why are they not happy with it? This is literally what they wanted. I'm not saying figuratively speaking. They literally said those words. We want a diabolical, vile child. Mios Dio. That's literally what the dad said. 100%. Is that what you were going to say? I was going to say make some friends. Your mother and I know you see the world differently than everyone else, Wednesday. We never ask you to be anybody but yourself. Oh, But sweet. that doesn't mean you need to do anything to get kicked out either. This that's is true. your last chance. If you don't make it work out here, then you'll be forced to attend Nevermore. No other school would even consider you. Hmm. Have fun and make sure nothing happens to your brother Pugsley, okay? We dropped him off earlier for swim practice. Uh-oh. We know what's about to happen. Wednesday took that request very seriously. While she would never admit it to his face, she loved her brother. No one was going to mess with him without proper retribution. Hmm. I'm sure you know how the rest of the story goes. I really want to know what her little brother is like. Is he vile? Is he diabolical? Or is he actually pretty sweet? And also, every time Wednesday gets kicked out of school, does he have to go to the other school with her? So he's getting kicked out because of his sister, even though he might actually be making friends with old school. And that's kind of sad. I feel like it should be a sad origin story about her brother, whatever his name is. Her brother was being picked on by the jocks on the swimming team. Uh -oh. by one of Wednesday's visions. No way. The power she inherited from her mother. Their signature brand of vengeance was executed quickly with just a few piranhas. Where'd you get those from? dismissal from Nancy Reagan High and her ultimate enrollment in the school simply known as Nevermore Academy. And there, Wednesday was finally able to find a place where she belonged. Nevermore? She new friends, Enid the werewolf. Ajax the Gorgon. Wait, don't let that be a spoiler for the first season cuz I haven't finished it yet. Keeper, a home to other outcasts just like her. Is that it? Is that actually the origin story of Wednesday? That was pretty interesting. Yo, smash that like button if you had no idea that's how Wednesday was created.